Ahoj, this is Denka. New video editing app, Adobe Premiere Video Editor, is here and it's free. For now, it is only available on iPhone, but it should be added to Android soon. Adobe Rush has been discontinued. This is a new app. There are some optional AI tools that are paid, but honestly, you don't really need them. All the tools that you need to edit your videos well are there. And there are some tools that you usually have to pay for in other apps. But they are here for free, which is quite surprising to me. It's tutorial time. Let me walk you through the whole app. Let me show you how to edit in Adobe Premiere Mobile. Once you open up Adobe Premiere app, this is what you are going to see. Just a quick welcome videos at the top and below are tools you can choose from to start your new project. New from Photo Library will let you import your videos and photos from your phone's gallery. New from Files will take you to your files on the phone. New blank project will start a project first, then you can import photos and videos there. Extract Audio will let you select any video from your phone. And as you can see, it only adds the audio to the timeline. Let's go back. And as you can see, it's showing a new project here. This is where all your projects will show. I'm going to delete this one. Create captions is one of the tools that I'm surprised it's free. Simply import video, then choose if you want the captions to be created from all speech or voice over only. You can also replace existing captions if you already have them. Hit create captions and there it is. New captions have been created. You can manually rewrite them if there are any mistakes and you can also style them. It can completely change the way they look. The three additional tools, generate image, image to video and expand image are all AI tools that are not free. Those are paid, so let's not go there. But if you still want to know the pricing, here is the page. Another way to start your project is hitting the plus icon at the bottom that takes you to the phone gallery where you can select your photos and videos. Or you can hit skip, which is going to open up a blank project. So let's do that. There are three tools at the bottom, videos and images, music and audio, and the last one is titles and captions. Let's hit videos and images. Here you can import your clips from photo library and on the left is where you can import your clips from files folder. In the middle is where you can access those paid features. Let's import some clips. As you can see, the default is vertical video. Let's hit the first tool at the top that takes us to aspect ratio. Here is where you can select the right aspect ratio depending on where you want to post the video. The next tool lets you preview the video across the screen. If it is a horizontal video, it's going to rotate so you can see it that way. If you have vertical video, you will see it this way. Let's look at the tools below the preview window. The first one lets you drag the timeline up and down. So if you have many tracks on top of each other, you can see them better. If you hit this icon, it will take you to the beginning of the clip. This one takes you to the end of the clip. You can also move the clip frame by frame so you can find the exact spot to trim or cut. When you pinch the fingers, you can zoom in and out on the timeline. When you press and hold on the clip, you can move the order of the clips. You can delete the clip here or replace the clip with something else from your library. If you make a mistake and want to go back, here is undo icon. Redo icon is here as well. There are several ways you can cut or trim the clip. You can drag the beginning of the clip to select where you want to clip to start. The same goes for the end of the clip. You can drag where you want the clip to end. Here you can see that there is a part of the clip that has a break. So let's remove that. I will select the beginning of the break and hit split. I can move to the end of the break and hit split again. 
Then I would just delete the clip between or faster way would be hitting the split at the beginning of the break and then just dragging the sides of the clip to remove the break. When you zoom in onto the timeline, you will see this little square between the clips. If you hit that, it will take you to transitions. Here you can simply select the transition you would like to use and duration. You can make the transition longer or shorter. Let's just make this one longer and see what we get. Undo button is at the top here. If you want to take a step back and apply to all is the next icon that would apply this transition to all cuts. I don't suggest using that because you would have very repetitive video full of the same transitions. I would just use the transitions only if it makes sense. This timeline so far has only one track which talking had only. Let's add some B-roll. Those are clips that show what you are talking about. I'm going to just hit videos and images and import a clip from library. That clip, as you can see, was added to the main timeline. Let's just tap and hold the clip and as it says, drop it here to move it up. Another way of doing this is selecting the clip and hitting the move up icon. It just moves the clip there. Now it's playing on top of the main video. I see that the clip has some audio, most likely city traffic sound. I can tone it down or completely remove the sound. I'm going to select the clip and at the bottom go to volume. Here I can bring the volume down or mute it completely. What I can also do with the B-roll clip is resize it and move it around. I can make it much smaller and position it on the side as picture in picture clip. I can also add some animation. So let's scroll to the right to animation. And here in intro, I can make it fade in and outro the same. So the clip is going to slowly show up and then disappear. If you don't want the picture in picture look, but want the full frame, you can just hit fill the frame and it's going to resize the clip back to full frame. There are clip editing tools. Let's stay here and explain what each tool does. I already explained split and delete. The next tool is duplicate. When I select, for example, the B-roll clip and hit duplicate, it will create a copy of the same clip and place it behind. Let's undo this. Replace, I already explained, it will replace the clip with something else from your library. Move to main is next. Because I have B-roll clip selected that is at the top, it is offering me to move it back to main track. When I move it to the main track, it will change to move up. Now I can move it back up. Volume I already explained earlier. Next one is audio fade. When you go there and drag the fade in, you will see on the audio how the curve is being created. This is especially useful if there is, for example, a double breath or big breath in and you just want to tone it down so it sounds naturally between two clips. The same thing you can do with fade out. You would also use it with music. The music slowly fades in and then at the end fades out. Enhanced speech tool is next. This is another surprisingly free one. When you enable this, it should enhance your speech. I'm just going to drag the slider to select the suitable strength of this effect. If there is a background noise, you can also reduce it or remove it by dragging this slider. Next, let's hit extract audio. As you can see, it took the audio from this clip and added it to another audio track below. Another great tool is remove background. Once you hit that, it will remove the background around a person. So now I can just place myself on top of another clip, make myself smaller 
and move the clip to a position I like. How do you color grade your clips? The first tool we have here is looks. These are pretty much filters. You just select one and adjust the intensity. I'm finding that just a little bit of intensity creates a nice look in this case. Let's remove it as I want to show you next section and that is adjust. Here you have all the tools you need to color grade your clip. On the light, you can adjust exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, and blacks. On the color, you can adjust temperature. Here you can make the clip look cooler or warmer. Tint lets you adjust green and red tones. Vibrance I like to use a lot when there are people in the shot as it doesn't affect the skin tone. You don't end up orange, but brings out the overall color. And the last one is saturation. Mix panel lets you control every single color individually. For example, if I select blue, I can now make the blue more green or deeper blue. I can make it less saturated or bring it even more and luminance controls how dark or light blue is going to be. Grading lets you control shadows, midtones, and highlights separately, or you can do global, which is everything, all. If you like vignettes, you have full controls here. It is the darker corners of the frame. Last one is film grain. Once you enable it, you can control size and roughness. In case you are wondering, so far there is no option to import your own LUT into this video editor. Hopefully that's something they will add in the future. Opacity is for making the clip fade or see through. Speed lets you slow down the clip or speed up the clip. Reverse plays the clip backwards. If you hit freeze, it will create a freeze frame. Fit I already mentioned earlier. If you resize the clip to make it smaller, once you hit fit, it will fill up the frame. Flip H is going to flip the clip horizontally and flip V will flip the clip vertically. Background controls the background. It should isolate the subject and make the background more blurry or noir. Clip animation lets you animate the beginning or ending of the clip. There are three animations available fade, slide, and rotate. Let's just do the slide and show what it can do. So these were all clip controls. Let's tap anywhere on the screen to deselect clip and pull out these three controls at the bottom. The next one is music and audio. The first one is soundtracks. This is royalty free library powered by Adobe stock. Before you start using these, I highly suggest going through their licensing to make sure you are within the rules. Just hit learn more and all the fine print is here. I personally prefer using Epidemic Sound as I know I'm covered on all platforms and in seven years I've been with them, I've never had any issues with copyrights and stuff like that. If you select one of the Adobe songs, it will take a few seconds to download it and then it shows up here on the audio track. Besides importing music, you can also record voiceover. Simply press the record button. Once you are done, the voiceover will show up below. Sound effects are next. It is the same thing as soundtracks, also coming from Adobe Stock Library. Once you select one again, it's going to show up at the bottom. Generate sound effect is an AI tool that is not free. I have Adobe membership, so it's giving me some credits to use. Extract audio I already showed before. It's going to import audio from a video selected in your phone library. Your music is where you can upload music from your phone. And the last one is files. So if you have music somewhere else on the phone, this is where you can grab it. How do you add titles? Let's go to the last section, which is titles and captions. Just simply write your text. And now you see the title above the main clip. 
You can move it anywhere in the frame. You can edit the text further. You can choose any of these templates. They look pretty good. Next, choose your preferred font, color of the text and background color. And lastly, text alignment. Captions were explained at the beginning of the video. This is where you can create them. Once you're finished editing, export icon is here at the top. You just select resolution, frame rate and quality. You can enable or disable HDR. And for those who have Adobe Premiere on desktop, you can send the entire project to your desktop via Adobe Cloud, where you can continue editing. You can certainly do lots in this free Adobe Premiere video editor. There are many great controls. I would love if they add keyframes controls down the road. That would be great. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you in one of these next. Ciao. Ahoy.